G'day guys, Club Cara here again. Um, just giving you an update on our wine progress. As you can see, that's sort of bubbling away. We had the one in the bucket that we um, was trying to ferment the secondary fermentation in this bucket. And with the tube, we noticed that the air was getting pushed down the tube, but then we didn't ever see any bubbles coming out. And we thought, oh, maybe it takes a while. We weren't really sure. Um, but then we seen the air sort of gradually get back up to the same water level. So it was like, nah, that is not going to happen. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But uh, we ended up taking it apart and tasting it. It tasted really vinegary. So we've sort of bottled that and we're going to keep it as red wine vinegar. Um, so this was actually had the must and all the crushed grapes and everything like that in there. And we said, all right, it's been about seven days. So we strained it, <clears throat> we actually used a fairly coarse strainer and we strained it all and it was probably, I think we had about, I think it was up to about, oh yeah, the must and everything on that was all up to here with all the um, crushed grapes and that's how much liquid we got out of it. So I was going to try and sift it through a fairly um, thin strainer um, after doing the coarse one but it kept blocking up and it looked too problematic and I thought, well... When we actually get the wine out, whatever settles to the bottom, we're not actually going to use this bung, we're going to siphon out the top, so it is what it is, and it's a pretty good experiment anyway. And in this one as well, we also added about three cups of sugar. Um, when we picked these grapes, they weren't 100% ripened. Um, we've had an issue with birds and little silver eyes, like little finch looking type birds that get in, no matter even if you've got net on there. So we said, right, let's just pick them, crush them, and um, we'll add some sugar to it, even though the grapes are still really sweet. So we didn't really want to add anything, but I think, just for experience, oh, um, I think adding sugar ain't a bad thing. So that will sort of feed the yeast and get the fermentation process happening. So this is bubbling really regularly, so it's really going off. This is probably 24 hours it's been in the secondary fermentation. Um, so the next step is we're just going to leave this go and see how long that bubbles for. Make sure this um, little fermenter thing that sits into a grommet at the top um, doesn't run out of water. So we have to make sure we keep topping that up every day with just a touch. We don't put too much because it ends up spewing out the top. Now this container too is actually purpose built for fermentation. You can see there's a rubber seal on the inside. So when we're using the bucket, there's no rubber seal in the bucket. So even though when you blow into it, it did blow that up, I don't think it gives as good a seal. So we got someone to sort of hold on to this and I really cranked the lid fairly tight on this and it's got the rubber seal in there and there's no way any oxygen can get in there. So that's just carbon dioxide bubbling off and we'll just see how long this takes and once that starts, uh, stops bubbling, then we'll be down to our bottling process, I guess. Mm. And then from there, we're gonna let that set in the bottle um, probably just let it rest for, I don't know, a month maybe, maybe longer. Um, I guess we can just sort of slowly, slowly just keep trying it um, out of one bottle for a while and just see how that sort of progresses. So, um, no additives. So this is the whole thing. There's no, um, we haven't used any sort of ratio of sugar to liquid or whatever. We sort of went, well, let's just go with about three cups of sugar, um, mixed it up and um, put it in and there's been nothing else so we're still relying on the natural yeasts which is a big variable from what we've read can't really get too much information on making natural wine i think you've got to go to italy or something into the country and learn it from an old school technique i don't know like um but can't really find too much good information out there on the web at the moment on um how this is done so it's trial and error First time we've had a good crop of grapes and this will be our sort of um, starting point and hopefully um, we're on to a winner and we can sort of do this again next year. So anyway, that's um, about all from us. Hope you've enjoyed the clip and we'll keep you updated on the progress. Cheers.